I've never used a ball before, I'm going to take you through a short workout to get used to the ball. And those of you who would like to join the ball class, this will be a way of getting yourself used to the instability of the ball and stabilizing your body. By relaxing your hands on your thighs, inhaling as I lengthen upwards. Exhaling, nodding the chin, flexing yourself forward, drawing the rib cage back, the abdominals in, relaxing your hands down toward your toes, breath in across the upper back, breathing out, lifting up the pelvic floor, relax the shoulders as I allow the abdominals and the back muscles to draw me back up again. Inhaling, lengthening upwards, exhaling, nodding the chin. And again, feel the ribs pulling backwards, my stomach muscles are engaged, pelvic floor is lifted, relax the fingertips toward the toes, breath in and breathing out as you roll yourself all the way up, restacking the spine. Inhaling, right arm's going to lift up for a side stretch. Exhaling, go up and over. As I breathe in, I'm opening the ribs on the right hand side. Exhaling, restacking the spine nice and tall. Take the arm back down. Inhaling, left arm lift. Exhaling, reaching out through the crown of the head. Inhaling again, my breath goes into the left side. And exhaling, restacking the spine nice and tall. And you could do two more repetitions after that. We're going to come into a leg balance. You can take the arms out to the side, rest them on your thighs or on the ball. So whichever works for you, taking a breath in. As I breathe out, so I'm lifting up that right foot, pelvic floor is lifting, trying to maintain stability on the ball on that inhale, exhaling as you control back down. And exhaling on the left leg. So I'm lifting the left leg up, take a breath in and breathing out, release back down. So yeah, try and relax through the shoulders and again, lengthen out through the crown of the head. Lifting the right foot up, pressing down into the left leg, control that leg back down. So you're avoiding the spine giving at this point. Keep your length, feel the pelvic floor lifting up to help you stabilize on the ball and then place that foot down, relax the arms alongside you. Coming to a half roll back, my feet are slightly away from me. Arms are out to the side, take an inhale as I lengthen. Exhaling, tuck under, pull the arms in. My lower back's coming into the ball and inhaling as you restack the spine. Exhaling again, scooping through the abdominals. My pubic bone is lifting up with tailbones going underneath me to get the lower back onto the ball and then restack for another two. So even though I'm rounding my spine, I'm keeping length through the spine as I activate the abdominals. And then as I come up, my tailbone comes into neutral first as I correct the rest of the spine. And the last one, breathing out and inhaling. From here, lower the arms toward your thighs. We're going to come into a bridge walkout, or well, not into a, a full bridge, but halfway there. So you're going to tuck under, start walking yourself out. But from here, you're going to allow your tailbone to follow the shape of the ball. So I'm allowing this kind of inclined position, taking the hands behind the head, breath in. As you breathe out, nod the chin, curl up. I'm coming into an air prep here, inhaling as you open your ribs, and find that long line. So exhaling again, find the stomach muscles wrapping toward each other as I curl my upper body, and then inhaling, open back out. So continue doing it from that long line, or you can open your chest over the ball and get that nice stretch. As I exhale, nod the chin, find those ribs drawing toward each other, they're rolling downwards toward the ball, and then inhale again as you open back out. So exhaling, lengthen the back of the neck, slide the ribs curling up and inhale, release over the ball. From here into the oblique movement, as I curl up now I'm going to rotate the upper body toward the left leg, keeping the elbow nice and wide and then inhaling as you release back down. Exhaling, left rib cage toward the right, my eye line is going just past that thigh and coming back. Again, you can do it from an upright position or an inclined position or the extended position. So this set I'm doing from my neutral spine, which is that nice long line, and then curl to the opposite side. Find your center, push into your feet, release your arms, curl the spine under, activate the abdominals, and then restack the spine. From here, we're going to come into a kneeling position over the ball. So I'm working my mid upper back muscles. 
I'm going to drape my body over the ball, so follow the shape of the ball, lift the stomach muscles in. Palms are facing upwards and I've released my entire body over the ball, breathing in as you roll the palms inwards, so really activating the back of the armpits here and the back of the arms. As you exhale, start using those back muscles to lift up your chest and your head. Find your length in this position here on the inhale. Exhaling, release yourself forward and over the ball. Breathing in as you roll the palms inwards, really activating through the armpits. Exhaling, find that length. Feel the fingertips reach away from you as your the head reaches in the opposite direction on that inhale. Exhaling, I'm still controlling the movement back down, not just collapsing down. And breathing in, palms roll inwards, breathing out as you find your length. Lifting up, inhale. Reaching, exhale as you draw your stomach muscles away from the ball and release yourself back. From here, you go to walk yourself over the ball. So I've got equal weight on my hands and my feet. Open the collarbone nice and wide, taking a breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze the right glute and lift the right leg up. So maintaining stability and a level pelvis. Inhaling as you release back down. Exhaling, squeezing that left glute reaching the leg up. So you're trying to avoid twisting your hips or rocking the ball too much and release down. Exhaling right glute, lengthening your leg away, lengthening out through the crown of the head, inhaling coming back down and exhaling activating through the core to maintain stability. Inhaling as you reach back down. So once you've got your balance in that exercise, you're going to try opposite arm and opposite leg. So that increases the challenge significantly as I try and maintain my balance, reaching opposite arm and leg away and release back down and then switching sides. So here, just build up your repetitions, squeezing that glute, keeping the leg straight as you lift it up and release down. From here, sitting onto your heels, coming to a shell stretch, pressing the ball away. Deep breath in and out and roll yourself up. Right, lying on your back, draping your legs over the ball. Ball comes to the back of the thighs. And I'm going to open the arms out for the spinal rotation. It's a nice exercise to have the legs supported, activating your obliques. Inhaling as you bring the legs over toward your right. The left shoulder stays anchored down into the mat. Exhaling, activating the left side of your waist here to bring the ball back up again and the legs. Inhaling toward the left, really heavy chest. So as I say, collarbones nice and wide, right shoulder is down. As I come back up, I'm pulling from the right side of my rib cage, then my waist muscles and then my hips. So inhaling toward the right, releasing tension from the head, neck and shoulders. And then feel the inner thighs activate as you bring yourself vertebra at a time back to your center for the last one. As I lower toward my left, my right hip lifts, but my right shoulder stays down. So watch that you don't overly stick your chest out. The chest stays nice and heavy. Bring yourself back into your center. Bring the arms alongside you for a hip roll. So you're coming up into an articulated bridge. Take a breath in. Find your length first as you breathe out, then start tucking under. My abdominals are working, my pelvis is curling, my glutes have switched on here, and I'm really wrapping the glutes on the inhale at the top, squeezing the inner thighs, exhaling. I'm coming down vertebra at a time, so try and allow your chest to come down first, then my middle back, then my lower back, and find your neutral spine. And again, so exhaling, tucking under, rolling up. So even though it's harder to keep stability than the mat, you, the legs are higher, so it's easier to roll down and try and work through any flat patches you might have through your spine. So take your time as you come down, trying to work, as I say, through any areas that you need extra work through, find your neutral. And the last one, exhale, exhaling, coming up, because you want an even movement through every section of your spine as you're coming up. And then again, glutes are wrapped, inner thighs are working, and take yourself back down again into your neutral spine. Right, from here, walking your feet in front of the ball, taking the hands behind the head, elbows are slightly lifted, and from here, we're going to curl the upper body. So inhaling as I prepare, exhaling, lengthen the back of the neck, slide the ribs and curl up. Inhale, look at the knees, and exhale as you release back down. 
Breathing in, nodding the chin, breathing out as you curl up. Drawing in through the abs on the inhale and exhaling as you release back down. So now we're going to extend the legs at the same time. Nod the chin as you curl up, roll the ball away, pressing into the ball, squeeze the inner thighs. Do it as if you're dragging the ball back in again. Exhaling, nod the chin, pressing into the ball. Feel that press down of your abdominals and inhaling, dragging back. Nod the chin without jamming the chin to the chest. I'm just getting my ribs to be able to pull me up. And then now hold the rib cage up or the chest up. Bend the legs in. You're going to float the right foot away. Take a breath in. Breathing out as you roll the ball away. As you pull the ball back in, send the right leg away. So exhaling and inhaling the last two. And then from here, place the right foot down, lift the left leg up, exhaling, reach the left leg away, and switch. Rolling the ball away, you want to make sure that the, the abdominals, abdominals are not bulging, or that you're working through your back. So keep stability, this is the last one, and bend the leg in, place it down, release the upper body, and just pull the feet in onto the ball and pull the knees into the chest, take a deep breath in and out and again just releasing and release your lower back right so that would be that short work uh, workout try and work through it get your stability and then try the harder exercises at a later date